One of the more common questions I see online is asking whether or not you can spray your XPS or polystyrene foam terrain with your normal spray paints. And the answer given is generally it's complicated because in fact what happens when you use these sprays on your foam terrain there is a propellant inside that can melt and damage the foam. However, there is a little bit of a way of just about managing to get it at the Goldilocks position where you can not get the propellant on the, on the foam, but it's a little awkward and I'm going to talk about that in a moment. However, Army Painter and their new Games Master series have released a set of sprays that are water-based in terms of propellant and definitely won't melt the foam, taking away the risk and the threat of damaging your terrain um, and being able to spray your XPS terrain is for me fantastic and I really like this stuff. When I saw that uh, Army Painter were going to be releasing this, I reached out to them and asked for some samples and they gladly sent me some over for free. So just keep that in mind. I did some tests and examples. So throughout the video, I'll be showing you me spraying foam. It's not the most interesting stuff, but it is what I was doing the other day. Now, when it comes to not melting your foam with your standard spray paints, there's a little bit of a Goldilocks position. So close to it that you get the paint on it, but not too close that the propellant starts melting the foam. Now, if you get a little bit too far away, what can actually happen is that the paint itself can dry in the air and it can essentially cause a texture on the foam itself as well. That may or may not be a problem for you. It's completely up to you to decide. Now in the UK, I seem to have done this on the nicest day of the year, but there's also the possibility of wind. <laughs> uh, just it being a windy day, it's going to be difficult to get your spray on at the exact right distance away. But do not rule out normal sprays. If it is the only thing you have access to, then you can use them. They're just a bit of a risk. So on one of my tests, I, I used uh, the Army Painter Brown Spray here on this pink XPS foam. Now on the pink XPS foam, this Army Painter Spray didn't really melt it unless I got super close to it. Now I did try the same spray on some blue foam, which did melt a little bit more. And I also tried the same spray on some polystyrene foam, which melted to an even greater degree. Now I did use a cheaper spray, which basically had the same results depending on the foam, but it just was worse. So the cheaper the spray that I used, the more budget spray that I used, uh, the more melting I got, which I don't know if the, the, what the composition of these spray paints are. I'm presuming maybe the cheaper one is using more accelerant and the classic army paint one isn't because, you know, probably a high quality. And then we'll talk about the Army Painter Spray. So this is the main bulk, the meat and potatoes of this video. They are releasing three different colours, which are actually colour matched to the Army Painter paint range. The first colour is a very dark grey slash dark brown. It's bordering black, a sort of yellowy sand deserty orange and a green. And as you would expect, I, I spray them onto foam and there's absolutely no problems in terms of melting, 100% no problems in terms of melting and the coverage is completely fine. Now they do recommend this for XPS foam, styrofoam, MDF and fiberboard. I only try the two foam methods here, but quite frankly, exactly as you would expect, spray paints that are working on foam. Uh, it's, it was what it was labeled to do, so it would have been a little bit unusual if it didn't do it. And uh, yeah, no matter how close I got to the foam, it all worked completely fine. And you know, I was going to say no matter how far away I went from the foam, but obviously there is a there's a normal recommended distance, which is, I believe on this spray about 10 to 15 centimeters. Obviously, if you start going ridiculously far away, you're not going to get any covering there. They are also making a varnish, a clear varnish, which is also a water based propellant. And uh, that works very well. I tried to spray that on some foam, but because it was so clear, I'd forgot that I sprayed it on the foam and then sprayed over it. So I don't have any examples of that to show. These spray paints overall, I think are fantastic. Yes, 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 you can use your normal spray paints if you are a risk taker or very confident in your abilities. I, for one, am not. <laughs> I do not like the idea of me spending hours and hours, you know, slaving over some XPS foam only to then ru ruin it by being clumsy and using like a normal spray paint. I have done one piece of XPS terrain that I then sprayed and I did ruin it. So I've done it in experience and I never did it again. Now, I, I know you can do it, but for me, I really like the fact that I'm a painter are coming along with this new Games Master set, which by the way, at the minute, it's scheduled for release in May. 
uh, and the uh, normal value i'll put the like link on uh, in the description and i'll maybe like show you how much it is on the screen they're available in may they do have a proper like D, &D starter terrain set thing which they've also kindly sent me which i'll probably do a review of in the next coming like weeks and so um, they do include one of the sprays which i believe is this black spray in that box However, I wouldn't buy that entire big box just to get the spray. I mean, it's only going to be a month before they're actually out. But yeah, like, it's just one of those things. If you're not confident or you don't like the idea of ruining your terrain, which I definitely fall into that category, but you still want to be able to spray your terrain for speed, then these are going to be a lifesaver. It's an army painter, so they're going to ship around the world. Uh, you don't have to... You know hope that it's a, a specific off brand that nobody's ever heard of that's local to your country these are going to be more worldwide than a lot of other different companies so um i'm really happy with them i mean it, i'm reviewing a spray that is designed to spray foam we knew that it was going to succeed in that and of course it does uh the only thing you have to answer is whether or not it's worth it for you as opposed to using like a normal spray for me the answer is definitely yes like this video if you like this video subscribe if you want to see uh, the review of the big box of any future like terrain videos have a most beautiful day goodbye